When it comes to working with images, some simple rules of thumb and example calculations will help you make the right decisions about the images that you put into your poster. Rule 1. Printing will always show up quality issues more than your screen will. Screens display pixels by mapping one image pixel to one screen pixel. For example, if your monitor is set to 1024 by 768, an image of 512 by 384 will occupy about a quarter of the screen area. Printers, on the other hand, are very pixel hungry. They often utilise around 300 pixels per inch in order to create a good quality image. Therefore, our 512 by 384 pixel image would only print out about the size of a large postage stamp. This slide attempts to show you that in action. So our screen here has been set to 1024 by 768 pixels. If I display an image that's 1024 by 768 pixels on it, it fills the entire screen because one image pixel is being mapped to one screen pixel. If we now look at our previous example of an image which is half this size, you can see it occupies about half the width and about half the height, therefore a quarter of the screen area. However, the size of this image changes radically when we send it to a printer which is using about 300 pixels per inch. So if we first look at the 1024 by 768 pixel image, you can see that prints out probably about the size of a small postcard. If we then look at the 512 by 384 pixel image, you can see that that is printing about the size of a large postage stamp because we're utilising 300 pixels per inch of paper. Rule 2. Think Imperial. Most printing calculations still utilise inches. We haven't moved across to centimetres yet. It's therefore pixels per inch or dots per inch that you'll hear and not centimetres per inch. For that reason, many people prefer to set their image editing software to inches by default. Things like Photoshop or even PowerPoint. Rule 3. You'll definitely need to do some maths in order to get the image quality right when it comes to printing. Image calculations need some forethought. Always assume a high quality print requirement of about 300 pixels per inch. If your printer uses less than that, it doesn't matter, at least you've got enough information there to utilise. The first thing to decide is how big you want your image to be on your poster. Just work on the longest edge to make your life simple. Multiply this figure by 300, which is the print resolution. Therefore, if it's a 6 inch image, you would need to multiply 6 by 300 to give you the required number of pixels on the longest edge, in this case, 1800. Rule 4. Ignore all measurements apart from pixels when it comes to evaluating images. The only size measurement that really matters with images is the number of pixels. Knowing where to check this is important. Most operating systems like Windows and Mac very much focus on the size in megabytes rather than dimensions, which is the bit that you'll need to know. In Windows Explorer it's useful to add the dimensions attribute. We'll have a look at that in just a moment. Or you can also right-click an image in Windows Explorer, select Properties and then Details, or Get Info on a Mac. So this is a typical view of Windows Explorer, showing us the file name, the date, the type, and the file size. However, dimensions aren't there. So click anywhere in the metadata header area at the top here, right click. And here I can see dimensions, probably because I've used this quite frequently before. If it's not there, go to more, scroll down the list, it's all in alphabetical order, until you find dimensions, and then select it. Say OK. So this is the information that you're interested in primarily. So to evaluate whether I could use both of these images in a poster is quite straightforward now. The first image only measures 800 by 533 pixels, which isn't really sufficient to print any bigger than a couple of inches. The other image, however, is of sufficient resolution for me to print that at A4 at a high quality print setting. 
So to summarise, always assume that you're going to require about 300 pixels per inch for a high quality print. Then the next step is to decide how big your image should appear on your poster. Just work with the longest edge. Multiply this figure by 300 and that should tell you how many pixels you require on the longest edge in your image. In the next video we'll look at how to actually add images to your poster.